Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. In this video, we're gonna talk about OneDrive Sync. This is an app that runs on your desktop and allows you to sync files from your cloud OneDrive down to your local desktop where you can edit them and then the changes will sync back to your OneDrive in the cloud. Let's check it out. Okay, the first thing to point out is that the OneDrive Sync app is already built into Windows 11. It gets installed through updates. Okay, so you'll find it down here in the system tray at the bottom right. Just look for the little OneDrive cloud icon and we can click here and you will see three options. Open folder, view online and recycle bin. If I click open folder, this is going to open my file explorer and show me my OneDrive files. So these are the folders and files that exist on my personal OneDrive account. Another way to get to this is to simply click your file explorer down here and then click on your personal OneDrive to see the files. At the top right, you'll see an indicator showing that the files are in fact syncing between your desktop and your cloud storage online. Now, if we go back to the OneDrive icon down below, we can click View Online. This will open our internet browser, and we can see by putting these side by side that these are in fact the folders and files on line in the cloud in OneDrive. And here in my file explorer, I see the same exact folders and files. And so I can click into these folders and I can open the files here and they will open to the desktop where I can edit the files and make changes and those will synchronize to the cloud. Or if I'm on another computer or I prefer to work in the browser, I can go over here and open up the folders and files and work on them here in the browser. Making changes in the browser will also allow the synchronization back down here to my desktop. Now, let me call out some other information that you'll see here in your file explorer on the desktop. Notice the status column. So here you'll see a green check or a cloud. You also might see a little person icon there that indicates that this file is actually shared with other people. The cloud icon means that right now this file is on your OneDrive only. It has not actually been opened to this local computer desktop. When you see the green check mark here, this indicates that you have opened this file before in the desktop and those changes have synchronized down to your local hard drive. So here, if I open this file about the Rock Band School, I can go ahead and make changes to this document and close it up. I don't even have to press save. I can just close it and those changes will synchronize. Notice now we have the green check mark instead of the cloud. All right, so let's go back down to our OneDrive icon. You will see the recycle bin option as well. When you go in here, yes, this is gonna show you your OneDrive cloud storage recycle bin. Just like on your desktop with the recycle bin here, you have a recycle bin for your online OneDrive files. So if you do delete something, you would be able to come back in here and restore it. You can select the radio button to the left of the file and you can restore the file. And of course, you could go ahead and empty the recycle bin to completely erase these files. Another thing you'll notice here down in the OneDrive app is when you click on it, it will show you recent files that have recently synchronized. And you'll see here, we actually have processing changes happening. So some of the changes I made are currently still in synchronization. Now, what if you want to also sync other folders on your local hard drive? Well, there's a couple of ways to do this. One, we can go over here to our gear in the OneDrive app and we can go to settings. In the settings, we can manage backup. In here, we can actually turn on backup for our documents folder, our pictures folder, and our desktop files. So if you wanted these folders to also back up to OneDrive, you can go ahead and turn those on. 
Now, they're only offering three folders there. So what if, for example, you wanted to synchronize your music folder or your videos folder? Well, what you could do is you could actually go to your OneDrive personal directory here and go ahead and create a new folder. For example, if you wanted to back up your videos, you can create a new folder and call it OneDrive video. And in here, you could actually just drag and drop videos so that they synchronize to your OneDrive in the cloud. Now, a final thing I want to show you is something called free up space. Now, let's say, for example, that I wanted to free up my local desktop space. I can go ahead and right click on my personal OneDrive folder here, and I can select free up space. What this will do is it will delete all of the files that I opened up here in my local desktop computer to free up space on this local drive. It will not delete the files that are on my OneDrive in the cloud. It will just free up the space here on my local computer. All right, and we can see that we have these swirling arrows indicating that these local files are being essentially cleared from the local drive to then free up space. And these will eventually turn into little cloud icons. Over here at the right, we are seeing these changes happening in real time. Also, this is good. We're seeing that there's a sync issue. This may happen from time to time. You may run into these synchronization issues. I can simply click here to see what the issue is. And it says this file is open by another program and can't be synced. Once the file is closed, we can sync it. So essentially, I just need to close this file and then the synchronization will happen. Sometimes this will also occur if you have a file that is using special characters like an ampersand or other special characters. Those files may not sync to your OneDrive. And so what you'll need to do in that case is simply rename the file to get rid of those special characters. All right, and that is how you use OneDrive Sync. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. It doesn't cost you anything to do this and it will help me keep my channel going. Also, if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.